Okay, so this is a Creality belt printer. As you can see, the um, the screen itself is very much like all the standard Creality printers. Um, so it's based on a toggle switch. So we're going to scroll down. So you've got the usual such as Home All, um, Home X, Y and Z and disable steppers. So you, this is where you control that. The temperature, the nozzles, the bed, fan speeds, preheat PLA and preheat ABS. So that's pretty standard. Um, configuration, so more in depth advanced settings. So um, like filament runout sensors, if you want to change the preheat of the PLA, you can do that. Um, so scroll back out of there, back down to load settings. So main screen, um, change filament. So if you want to change the filament, you can do so. Um, so about the printer, so the printer information is running on a Marlin software at the moment, 3D print mill, um, the board, the bow down, um, info, that's not really inf important today. And for misters, like I say, it's just all the information if you require this. Let's scroll back to the main screen. Lights, doesn't have lights on this printer, so I'm not quite sure whether it has settings that you could do that. So on the SD card at the moment, um, it's got a number of different things that were supplied, but today I'm gonna to be doing an XYZ calibration cube, which I installed earlier. Back to the information screen, that's the main screen. Okay, so heading over to YouTube, this is Naomi Wu's um, YouTube channel. So she obviously heavily invested in this particular project through Creality. Um, and she just basically goes through the, the YouTube video talking about um, how to put it together and just the information about it and some support systems. So definitely check out her channel. Okay, so this is the Creality 3D print mill on their Creality website. Um, so it gives some important information about um, its specifications. Um, so go on to that to get all, all your downloads. So um, it just talks about Creality Cloud App and the Infinite Z that this particular model is, direct uh, dual gear. Um, basically enhanced slices um, profiles that you can use. So it's a 200 by 170 and Infinite Z as you can see by the symbol. So you could just keep on printing. Um, it's a 535 by 656 by 410 in actual printer dimensions, not the bed. It's um, So we have a dual gear metal extruder on this printer. Um, so it direct, directly feeds from the filament sensor that you can see just below it here, which um, is a great addition to this, especially on Infinite Z. Um, you're gonna be printing quite um, heavily on that. So it's a stable core XY structure. And as you can see, the Z is basically a rolling conveyor belt, so you can infinite print. Um, and as we go down, so it's talking about the slicer software. So there's a unique slicer software. It's pretty much based on Cura. I've already downloaded that to my computer um, and I found it really easy to use as you can see here. So um, like normal, add um, the machine. So it's the Creality 3D print mill. Um, and then today I'm gonna be doing the um, calibration cube as shown here. But as you can see, the bed is an infinite bed. So nothing like your um, square um, beds or your circle beds. It's literally, as I scroll out, you'll see that it's an infinite Z. But today I'm only gonna do one cube, but you could potentially do tens, if not 20, if not hundreds of cubes, if you so wish. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the website again and uh, scroll down a bit further. So like I said, it's got a smart filament breakage sensor, um, the high quality power supply and ultra silent motherboard. So I'm going to scroll down, just talks about different applications that you can use the printer for um, and the product parameters. So uh, it's an FDM printer, um, one nozzle on this. Um, the bed comes at 100 degrees and maximum temperature of 240 on the nozzle. Uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 layer height and does PLA, PLA and TPU. Um, so as we scroll down at the moment, it's coming in at $1,049, but I've seen it a lot cheaper elsewhere. So what we're going to do now is a quick time lapse of this uh, calibration cube.
Okay, so it looks like the print has completed. And we're just going to peel it away. Just take it off gently. So, that's a calibration cube. A few little dodgy bits. As you can see, the, um, the X has come out fairly smooth. The Z seems okay. Some some wobbling there. You can see probably slight in that corner that was sort of really starting on the belt. Um, I would expect that to happen. Um, you get that funny texture there from the bed itself, and then the Z seems okay if I'm honest. Um, that was a 0 0.2 layer height, so I didn't expect the quality to be amazing and um, being a belt printer the layer lines are basically in that di direction on the y um upwards direction on the x uh, and the z is obviously as it's moving along <coughs> so this was the front actually um you're going to get a little bit of a funny wobble there um to begin with and the reason for that is obviously it's got nothing to sort of back on to. Um, as you can see, it does like a, a priming line um, built into the actual program, so that's quite cool. A bit of a pain to get off, if I'm honest. Um, found myself struggling to get that off, so what I might do is uh, move it back and warm the plate up and just peel it up. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> we're going to do a quick um, measure. So this is a 200% uh, calibration cube, so um, it's normally 20 millimeters squared um, on a normal 100%. So we're going to try the uh, calipers on it. So I'll just grab them. Okay, so. Um, right. So on the Z, we're looking for 40 and we are getting Trying to make sure we're over it. So we're getting 39.8 on that. Um, about 0.2 mil out. And then on the X, um, we are getting slightly less actually. Um, 38.9. So that's a little bit more out. That's about uh, one millimeter out. And then on the Y, um, we are getting 39.4 uh, let's just try this one so yeah this one seems almost spot on that so that's 40.1 let's double check this one <clears throat> it's 39.5 so yeah I mean I've gone around the whole cube to be honest with you it's 38.8 so it seems like the the Z of it is slightly out um, so yeah, I can make some changes to that. That's no bother. Yeah, overall though, um, I would say that's come out pretty well considering um, I haven't actually done that much um, calibration to this printer. So I'm only doing a quick review. Um, in terms of actually setting this up, it was fairly simple. Uh, the bed I stuck at 65 degrees just to make sure that it adheres as well as possible. Um, a lot of it was pre-calibrated, so I haven't actually really gone into much on that. Um, it seems to have done that okay. Uh, I also did this on my first initial test. So it's eventually, forgive, the, forgive me that there's a bit of white at the beginning. I wouldn't say this was the best um, print, to be honest with you. I could have probably made it slightly bigger and it might have shown some of the issues a bit clearer, but as you can see, the white kind of makes it look slightly off but um so it would have been printing in that direction uh the white was what was left in the actual uh in the actual filament tube so um i kind of wanted to just see um how it reacted um uh, with leaving filament for a period of time but you can see the actual benchies come out relatively well considering uh, some slight string in but overall the quality is not too bad. I wouldn't say it was great. Once again, 0.2 layer height, so 
um, in terms of like the quality you're always going to have slightly off um, if you really want to test it to its full capabilities you want to go for maybe 0.15 even go for 0.1 but obviously you're jeopardizing well not jeopardizing sorry you're you're going to be taking a lot longer to print so if you want to do a review um, take that into consideration um, yeah so overall um, not too bad uh, I've never used a belt printer so um, I did find it slightly more um, interesting to set up um, as you see earlier on in my video I go over um, the different slicer settings that you have to use so you would I didn't use the Cura uh, slicer but I used the Creality Cura slicer um, I'll leave a link in the in the description as to where you can get that from um, and straight off the bat chose the uh, the, the 3d mill print mill um, printer on it and that works pretty much off the bat so um, like I say I didn't set this up fully um, as I mentioned earlier in the video um, you've got lots more points of calibration so at the front and uh, um, around the bed and uh, there's a number of other places that you need to take into consideration because obviously you're not just um, leveling out the bed now you're leveling out other areas because of the angle the 45 degree angle um, overall though um, the first time I've ever used a belt printer so it was never going to be like an extraordinary uh, be extraordinary printing but um, it's kind of done what I wanted it to do like I say slightly off on the um, the measurements but uh, that would it seems like they're very minimal amount so just a slight tweak here and there maybe some slight um, under extrusion on the Z um, which means obviously um, we'd have to maybe have to calibrate the steps on there unless it's already been done before it might be just slightly off still um, other than that I'm quite happy um, with what it can what its capabilities of doing um, especially if you're going to be doing larger items or or a number of items you just wanted to I don't know for argument's sake you wanted to print off 5, 10, 15, 20 of these it would just keep um, going down the belt until it's finished you just drops down into a bucket or onto a conveyor if you're if you if you're doing a um, a sword uh, or any sort of cosplay stuff you could get a, a trolley and just um, print off because obviously you don't want it to drop off the bed mid print oh, it, it, basically you'll come right to the end and you'll fail print but overall yeah I really like the printer I think it's got some um, great capabilities uh, like I say new to, to working on a belt printer so it's all been a learning curve for me as well um, yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel 3DP UK uh, I'm going to be bringing all the new ver reviews of different printers some that have been out for a few years some that are new to the scene um, like I say uh, I just wanted to give you a real-time review and um, what I feel and uh, like I say not too bad not amazing some potential there um, slight tweaks wouldn't mean too much of a change that I think I'd be quite happy with that off the bat um, yeah so take care everyone like and subscribe Phil from 3DP UK